Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am here for another book review. The book that I will be reviewing is Hostage by Guy Delisle. I came across this book in my local library. I was checking out the graphic novel section and I really wanted to pick one up. So Guy Delisle sat down with Kristoff and allowed him to tell him his story and exactly what was told to him is what he included in this and it happened in 1997. This is a true story of a man who worked in the Caucasus as a humanitarian for Doctors Without Borders. This man was taken from his hotel room in the middle of the night and handcuffed in solitary confinement for three very long months. So this story just kind of follows his experiences from the moment that he was kidnapped until he basically finds his way back home. You really get to experience alongside Kristoff while reading what he went through, um, the initial fear of, you know, are these people going to kill me? What do they want? I cannot communicate with them. They cannot communicate with me because we do not speak the same language. So what's happening? So. He really does a lot of, he conjures ideas up in his head about what's going to happen next. And he kind of freaks himself out a little bit. So it's a, it's a psychological story of how someone survives being alone and not knowing what's happening. If anyone's even looking for him, he has no contact with the outside world. His routines are the same every day. Um, he has the same meal basically every day around the same time. He is handcuffed the entire time except for when he's eating and when he has to go to the restroom. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very good story and it really portrays the experiences that he had. I gave this book a four stars because of the repetitiveness of the graphics towards the middle, mainly, of the book. I felt that it was just a little too redundant. We see him doing a lot of the same routines, like washing up when he's allowed to go to the restroom or uncuffing him and you see him sitting there eating his bowl of soup. And I get that you really have to drive home the fact that he was by himself and this is what he experienced day after day after day, but I feel like the book could have been condensed a little bit um, from that and it would have drove home the same, um, the same effect. If you could try to imagine what it would be like to be locked up in a room by yourself with no contact with the outside world to be handcuffed and and all you have is yourself and your thoughts and how easy it would be for you to go crazy in that state um, but this is a story of how a man survived that the interesting fact about this book is that it took guy 15 years to write it Another interesting fact is that Kristoff returned to humanitarian work only six months later, and he remained committed for another 18 years. I would recommend this book to anyone that is into graphic novels. I would also recommend this book to anyone who is interested in the psychological element, um, anyone that likes to have that tension that's built up as they're reading. All right, guys, so that is all for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have a graphic novel that you would like to recommend me, please do so because I'm trying to read more of those. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one overall. I just couldn't give it a five stars because of the repetitiveness. If it was not for the repetitiveness, I probably would have given this a five star read. Um, but yeah, that's all. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.